What's up? It's me, Darrell Smith, and today is game day. We have the ultimate game day spread for the biggest game of the year. We got Vernon Davis joining us today, NFL legend, big, beautiful man, entrepreneur, rapper, singer, actor, and today we're gonna add cooking to his resume. We got some buffalo chicken spring rolls. We got some Amazeballs pizza pockets. And then we got some chicken wings we're gonna make in the air fryer. To wash it all down, we got a Jamaica lime margarita. Let's ride. First of all, do you have a team? Like, as a, as a player, who, who did you have a team growing up? Well, yeah, Washington Commanders. Yeah? Because I grew up there, but then as I you know, of course, I played for yeah. the 49ers for 10 years, 10 long years. You played for the commanders too, no? Back I in did. The day? I, well, I just, I finished with them. How was, how was that? We'll, we'll get into that. We're making a buffalo chicken spring roll. Have you ever made this? No. Yeah, we about to sound so good. Tear it up. Watch this. So, rotisserie chicken. I feel like everybody has one of these in the fridge. Pre-shred it, but we just oh, want to wow. shred this down a little more. We're going to add a little bit of hot sauce. Okay. And finally, we got some mozzarella cheese. Nice. So, spring rolls come in two versions. You got one that's like a little browner. So with these, you gotta kinda activate them using some type of moisture. So, I'll walk you through the process. Now the wild thing, playing football, you never get to experience the tailgate. I remember my first tailgate, I didn't realize that People get buck wild in the uh, in the, <laughs> <laughs> in the parking lot getting ready for this stuff. So all we're gonna do is just break these down into like, okay. we're gonna take some of this chicken and we just wanna break it apart into little pieces. You don't have to break it down into super small fine pieces because we'll use that blender, but make sure you just get the big pieces and break those down a little bit. I'm just gonna add a little bit oh, yeah, of sauce to this and some cheese. You're not gonna put too much hot sauce on that. No, we don't. Okay, too much. I don't yeah, like yeah, that spicy I got you, stuff. I got you, I got you, I got you. Hot sauce. That's good? Oh, that's good. That's okay, good. there that's you good. go. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get some cheese in there. You can do mozzarella, you could do uh, shredded provolone, whatever you like. What was that like for you? What was it like going from high school to college, that transition, and then from college to the professional level? The transition from high school to college, it was, Huge difference. I mean, you're not used to working muscle groups. Mm -hmm. And I was just getting strong and I was growing. Yeah. Then as my game started to elevate, yeah. and then going from college to the pros is, is even a drastic difference. Yeah. Right? Because I, I remember catching the ball, that one play I had when I caught the ball, it was a flat route, right into the flats, going towards the sideline. Mm -hmm. Catch the ball, turn up, and this defensive lineman was on me so fast, and I just was like, wow. I never had that happen. Yeah. That's how I knew this game was different. You can see it a little different. It's like, all right, I see that hole there. I may think about it for a little bit and then I may hit it. Whereas in any other level of professionalism, it's like, all right, once you see that hole, you better hit it. Because <sighs> it closed up so fast. Oh yeah. oh yeah. All right, so this is good. Ideally, you actually want to get this a little thinner. So let's use this. Okay. Let's see. A little special tool. Oh, there we Crazy, go. Right? <laughs> You ever did that before? So you about to? Oh, let me get, let me jump back. Let me jump back because I've never seen Watch that. Watch your. I never seen that. Because I'm about to get into it. Let me see. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Here we go. It'll fly everywhere on you. Interesting. I like this method because it gets it a little bit finer than just doing it with your fingers. And it actually worked. It actually did, right? Can you turn the speed up? You want me to? Can you increase it? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I think we good. I think we good. All right, so nice. now that we got our shredded chicken in there, we got our buffalo sauce, we got our mozzarella cheese, okay. we got our rotisserie chicken. Next, what we want to do is start rolling these bad boys. We have our wrappers. You just want to wet these a little bit, not too much. All right? Mm. Wet, slightly pliable. Drain it off. Add some of our filling, but not too much right to the center. You don't want to overcrowd these because while we're frying it, you don't want these to fall apart, all right? So now, squeeze our sides in, bring it over, tuck it in. Mm -hmm. Dainty hands, dainty hands, okay? 
just roll it up like a rug and put this right on the tray. Ta-da! Wow, there beautiful, we go. Right? Yeah, that's beautiful. These are tough nice. for people with big hands like us. Yeah, I know, man. Look you got some Look children. These. This is what the children bring bringing. These Jack Lumbertons. Look at uh, that. Yeah, absolutely. Ah. Were you born this big? <laughs> no, I, was actually, I was actually teeny. I was, like, I was actually really small when I was born, man. Really? I was, yeah, I was. Um, I didn't start growing until ninth grade. I got a growth spurt. Damn, that's cool, man. Yeah. All right, let's let's see what right. you can. You learn how to do it, right? Do you have a pregame meal or a ritual that you like to do before you play football back in the day? Yeah, I used to. Um, Maybe do one. So I wake up in the morning and mm -hmm. I'll do an egg white omelet with. Okay loaded with chicken and vegetables, and I'll do some potatoes on the side with strawberries and blueberries with it. I, mean, I did that for 14 long years, man. Wow. All right, so let me just get this stuff out of our way. OK. Once these are rolled up, I'll place these in a the freezer just so that filling solidifies and become nice and firm. And then we're going to get down to the nitty gritty. All right. We're going to start frying these, and I'm just going to trace some trace size with you. OK. Now you have retired. Uh-huh. And personally, I still carry on my game day traditions. Do you still have those type of rituals? Oh, yeah, I'm routine. I get up in the morning. First thing I do is I'll, I'll hydrate. Mm -hmm. Same way I did when I was playing. I yeah. drink like two bottles of water before I walk out the door. Uh -huh. And I'll just go straight into my workout. Hold on, let me drop this. Just stand back a little bit because we don't know. Oh, that's, oh, that's not too bad. Yeah. I thought it was going to do something crazy. Don't overcrowd your pan because... If these touch while they're frying, they're gonna stick together and you don't want that because it's just gonna be a mess in the pot. Also, another thing with overcrowding your oil is that it will lower the temperature and then it won't fry properly. So just make sure you're patient. These don't take too long to cook. All right, these look good. Now we just wanna drain them and put them right on to our tray. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Look at that. You see that? That looks great, look at that. Yeah. Oh, man. Nice and crispy. Point. Your <laughs> grandfather was an acrylic artist, but right. now you rap, you write, you act. Tell me about that transition and how you think that soul from your ancestors and your family has is infused in you and how you express yourself using that. Yeah, it's interesting how it passed, how you just explore, you go through life figuring out how what your what you're meant to be, what your passions are. That's cool. Yeah. I think we're in a good place. And I'm just gonna plate these up. Come here, baby. Yeah, nice and crunchy. That's beautiful. Now what I want, grab a little bit of chive. There we go. Yeah, you look good. That's it. Whenever I get bored, I just start writing poetry. Oh, wow. To my girlfriend. So I would put the poems behind the instrumentals and it sounded pretty good. So then I went into the studio. Uh -huh. I'm like, wow, I'm actually pretty good at this. What was the name of it? My first song? Yeah. Smile for me. Smile for me. Smile for me. Okay. Smile for yeah. me. Like Pull up, take you for a ride. You can open up the door and you can stay in for a while. Play your favorite song while I'm making you smile. Well, I'm about to make you smile myself. Have oh, now yeah, this definitely makes me smile. <laughs> I'm the man that knows good food, buddy. I'm it smiling. It's light, a little crispy on the outside, and you can serve it cold, you can serve it hot. And so it's a really versatile rapper. Moment of truth. Just let me know what you think. Yeah, nice and crispy. I'm smiling, man. I know. Wow. I see it. See it, <laughs> you gotta guard it when it's that good. Who was the, your favorite team that you ever played for? I'd say 49ers. Really? Yeah. Even though I won a Super Bowl in Denver and mm -hmm. I went back to my hometown team, Washington Commanders, yeah. but 49ers, I mean, there's so much history, man, with my guys like Frank Gore, Moran Norris, yeah. Michael Crabtree. It's just, it's a lot of history. Yeah, I, I went from a boy to a man yeah. in that city. Nah, that's cool, man. Yeah. Well, we're going to get into these pizza pockets because we already got the appetizer down, and next we're going to go into a food that you can eat with one hand and drink with the other. What about in the pros? Did you cook for the team? Uh, nah, not for the team so much. I cooked a lot for myself and for, like, people I dated just because, like, that was my... You never had guys hand. come over and cook for them? Nah. Why not? You didn't want to show your sensitive side. That's how I was in, yeah. in the pros. I couldn't tap into like my, my music and my acting because I don't know. I just felt like 
I had that warrior mentality, and my warrior mentality was being a football player. Yeah, I feel that. And being like, you know, with the rest of the guys. Mm -hmm. I couldn't show my other superpowers. Nah, that's cool, man. Yeah. Well, we're gonna get into these pizza pockets. We got some meatballs. Put these in our bowl, and we just wanna smash these. We don't need to smash it too much, but we wanna make sure we get it fine enough to put into our pizza pocket. We'll roll out our dough. What a wonderful dough that is. Come here. We wanna go down one, and across. Same thing here, down, across. We wanna take a little filling. We're gonna go right into the center. But this less is more. You don't need too much, but make sure you put enough so that you uh, you don't skimp. These are too tasty to skimp. With this, I would say you want to put about two to three tablespoons of meat because you don't want these things bursting out the seams. I'm going to take my other sides. Like thus. Get yourself a fork. So now we just go right around the edges and crimp it close, nice and tight. We'll place these onto our tray. And then we have a little bit of egg wash. Our egg wash is just two yolks and a little bit of water. What this does is gives us a nice golden brown when we put it into our oven. Lastly, we're just gonna kiss the top with a little bit of Italian seasoning. Oh, this is so fragrant. Pop those in the oven, 400, about 10 minutes until they're nice and flaky and brown. And then we're gonna tear them up. Welcome to halftime. So, Brandon, what's your secret to catching a football? It depends, who's throwing it? Patrick Mahomes or Tom Brady? Tom Brady. Oh, I'm gonna catch it like this, diamonds, baby. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> boom, 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 you wanna catch him. You don't want my, uh, my long snapper, Brian Jennings, right? Uh -huh. He told me, actually catch the ball with your fingertips. It's not really the palm of your hands. What is your favorite game day food? My favorite game day food? Yeah. Chips and dips. What kind of fries? Dip? <laughs> With mumbo sauce sprinkled all over. Oh, mumbo sauce. You know That's about mumbo DC sauce? Thing. Yeah, I know about mumbo sauce. Hip hop look. How about this yeah. right here? You got this, there you go. <laughs> so right now, we're gonna make some chicken wings made in the air fryer that we're gonna sauce up. Right now, I'm gonna make one of my favorite sauces, which happens to be my go-to sauce whenever I'm having people over. We got a little bit of chili paste, like a little more spicy. Oh, okay. And one of our core, we're gonna put this, right? Nice and sizzling. Next, dark soy sauce. This is kind of like a mix of soy sauce and molasses, a lot thicker, sweeter, smokier, sweet Thai chili paste. That's good. Now smell this before we put the vinegar into it, because then- Oh, that's, that's, good, that's, no good, that's right? nice, yeah, that's nice. Now maybe stand back a little bit for this, Bill. Once you put vinegar into anything that you cooking, them vapors will get all up in your ass. Salt and pepper, obviously, boom. And now we just stir, stir, stir. And I just allow this to reduce down. I like it. Wow. Yeah, you can try that if you want. I'm gonna add maybe a little more honey to it. Yeah, that's good. And then once we add everything to it, it'll be really good. Oh, that's good, man. That's good, right? Yeah. Wow. Tasty. Oh. You wanna right? Yeah. Look at that. There you go. Hey! 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 Tell me about what you're doing now that you've done. <clears throat> I know you're into acting. I know you're into producing. You just yeah. all over the place. Yeah, I'm all over the place, man. Yeah. I've come up with so many different ideas for shows and movies. Mm -hmm. I've written my own scripts. I have a script that I'm working on right now. It's gonna be a movie based on my journey into becoming a rapper. That's cool. Once you start to see it bubble, now we'll mount our sauce with a little bit of butter. What this does, it makes it creamy, gives it a little bit of texture and mouthfeel that we also love. Drop that in. And I'm just gonna turn that heat all the way down and stir it right into our sauce. Wings are good. We'll put these to the side and we'll get started on our other sauce. For our lemon pepper, we'll start up our pan. We just got a little bit of butter. Put that in our pan, that's gonna start to melt down. I'm just gonna move this around a little bit, help it melt a little faster. Next, we're gonna take some of that lemon pepper seasoning right into our pan. All right, there we go. That's coming together nicely. You don't want this bubbling too much. And so once it gets too hot, you just lift it off the fire a little bit and stir it like you mean it. 
as a musician, as an artist, are there different things from the field that kind of drive you, kind of help you in terms of like how you approach it, your professionalism? <clears throat> I try everything that I'm doing in my life, I do it weekly. Whether it's twice a week, three times a week, four times a week, it all depends based on my schedule, but I make sure that every week I'm getting that frequency. Yeah. I'm in there, I'm being involved, I'm, I'm coming up, I'm creating something. Because mm -hmm. that's what you have to be. And over time, what you're gonna have is you're gonna have that, you create that experience and you create like a vibe, you create a, you create this atmosphere. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel it's that. Dope. Oh, I'm over here tasting. Are you excited? Yeah, you see that? I put a little bit of honey in this uh, lemon pepper too. We just gonna hit it with a little bit of agave. Stir, 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 and we're done. Sauces are nice and saucy, and so we about to sauce up some wings. <laughs> I actually, uh, I was blessed by some friends of mine. Ghetto Gastro actually has out a air fryer. You ever use one of these, an air fryer? No. So these guys, they're legit, man. They're like, oh wow. Look how crispy they are. And that's air fry. Air fry. Get man. out of here. Yeah, you can't beat that. I want you to get a close up of this so you can see all of that crispy goodness. I'll let you toss some and then I'll toast some. Which one are you a fan of? Do you like lemon pepper? Do you like? I, I think I'm a fan of that. Yeah, she's yeah. good, right? Yeah. But when I was younger, I liked lemon pepper, if you yeah. know what I mean. You know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna take, here, I'll let you sauce these. Okay. Let's use that for the bigger bowl. Okay. That's and we can just dump all of that into it. I'm going to take the lemon pepper. All of it? Yep. There we go. Just like that. Mm hmm. We're just going to pour that sauce all over those wings, baby. All over those wings. All the sauce. That's good. Yep. Toss those around in there. Nice and chunky. Now we'll plate them up. All right. I'm going to get one. Uh, but those, but then the rest, I'm doing flats. Are you a flat fan as well? I like flats. Yeah, you got good I'm taste. I'm a flat guy. Yeah, I like that. We got this one. I like it, I like it, I like it. You can just grab a little bit of cilantro out cilantro? the fridge. It's on that left side. Oh, look. His fingers are even back. Man of many talents. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of that sesame seed. And we're just gonna make this nice and pretty. Pizza pockets. Oh, both of them, right? Yeah, that's fine. I like it, I like it, I like it. Let's do the pizza pocket first. Pizza pocket. Let's do a pizza pocket. All right. Let's take this one here. Here we go. It smells good. Oh, wow. I know. Mm -hmm. It's good, man. Easy. Yeah, not bad at all. Kids can make it. You can put mushrooms, you can put veggies, you can put meat, whatever you want. Wings. I'm gonna go with the lemon pepper first. I'll go with the lemon pepper too. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Clean, boy. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right good. Right to it. Yeah, that's really good. I like lemon pepper because it's like, it's salty, but then when you get that uh, that lemon bite, it, it balances everything out. I also like cilantro on my wings too, just for that same thing. Like it gives you a, a nice freshness at the end. Mm. This one. Let's see. I'm good. Wow. I'm yeah, good. That's good. Mm. We did it right. Wow. <laughs> Chances are, if you're watching this, your team probably didn't make the Super Bowl, and you're in Cancun right now. And so as an homage to you, we're going to teach you how to make margaritas for all of the players in Cancun watching the Super Bowl from there. To get started, we have tamarind. Oh, by Essie Spice. Ooh, Essie Spice. You got to try this. Sweet. Oh, that's sweet. That's as good, it can right? Be. Yeah, that's good, right? That's sweet. So, just gonna yeah. pour that. We got some Jamaica. We got a little bit of um, liqueur, orange. I'm gonna eyeball these because nice. why not? Nice, nice. A little that's bit of liqueur. Good. We got some tequila. However, however much you want. Okay, that's good. Okay. You know, I'm a huge fan of zest in my limes, but. For this, I don't think you necessarily have to. Do you use zest your limes at home? Oh, I love zest. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a zest oh, yeah. lover. I like zest because I can put it in like dairy and it gives you lime flavor without oh. curdling the milk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So mix all these things together. You ever rimmed a glass before? Yeah. All right. This is good. You can do yours. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to turn it right in there. I might go that uh, tahini. 
Ice. 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 Yeah. A mica lime margarita rimmed with tamarind oil and some tahini and cool. Dang. That's nice. That's, that's good, right? We come back, we're gonna eat everything together. All those foods you seen we cook earlier, we're gonna eat it up. So we'll see you in a little bit. Look at this. We have the ultimate game day spread. Dude, I had so much fun, man. I wanna appreciate you for having me uh, come visit you. And this is this is truly amazing. Nah, no doubt, yeah. man. What are, did you learn anything today? Oh man, I learned how to. I came up with some new recipes. I love it. Um, what else? I learned how to put things together. Like, I mean, these the maize meatballs. Yeah, Dude, maize I'm going to do that as soon as I get home. I'm going to make that. I'm going to try these these spring rolls, buffalo chicken spring rolls. Like, dude, I'm I'm set. You heard it here first. He wants to try everything that we made because we make all delicious things. Why not? So, I'm going to grab one of these. Okay. I'm gonna grab one too. And I want to just wish you a happy birthday, man. I heard it's your birthday. Appreciate you, man. Hell yeah. Cheers to that. Mmm. Mmm. My brother, happy game day, man. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Absolutely. You're welcome. You know the secret to breaking down a nice flat? What you mean? You just put it in your mouth and just eat it? Nah, that's not how we do it now. You want to take this bad boy right here by the bone. Boink. And then you just push that meat all the way down. What? Clean off. What? See that? 